Our primary mission here is to reach that structure. Destroying that base is a secondary objective. Yeah, but it's fun, right? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a Halo game on the Xbox 360 that was not created by Bungie. Believe it or not, one exists. It is a very unique Halo game. It is a real time strategy Halo game called Halo Wars. And if you're a fan of Halo, you might have played this. Uh, if not, maybe you've played it. I was actually a little surprised to see this game in the 1001 book because as I understood it, although it had reasonable reviews, I didn't think it actually did that well, but I could be totally off here. Um, this was part of Microsoft's attempt to diversify the Halo universe. And uh, although, you know, this game exists, I mean, Halo is still pretty much just a first person shooter. You know, Master Chief isn't like Mario. He can't appear in tennis games and uh, doctor puzzle games and stuff, you know. I mean, look at this opening cinematic. The Chief can only really appear in uh, the the... Futurist, the dark, dystopian, futuristic world where aliens are trying to kill all humans. You can only do so much with that. They pretty much all have to be war games. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. Now, I do own this game and I have beaten it before, so we have the lion's pick of levels. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hop into... We're going to do three levels today. I'm going to try and mix it up in terms of what the levels look like. Um, I'm going to try and do three levels. Let's see how this goes. So let's start with an early level here. Um, just a very basic beginner level. And then we'll hop to uh, Arcadia City. I think that looks like a good one. And then maybe we'll try... How about the Scarab? The Scarab is a nice iconic thing in Halo. So those will be the three missions that we try today. So off to the first encounter. Now I'll go ahead and sum up this uh, opening cinematic for us. Basically what's happening is this game takes place 20 years before the first Halo game. It takes place, I think, six years after the humans first encountered the Covenant or first went to war with them. So basically the war is in full swing. Spartans are still around. They're not extinct yet. I mean, Master Chief in the Halo games is the last Spartan. There's still more than him just hanging around. Um, humans are killing di damn dirty aliens and uh, things are going well, but then they find some weird alien Covenant ship and they send a, a sort of expeditionary force to go and get it. And that's sort of the plot of this game. I don't think in the first level we are on an alien planet, but eventually we go there. And so as you can see, death and destruction and war and all that good stuff. You guys know the Halo backstory. If uh, if you've seen my other Halo videos, you know that, uh, you know, Halo's a thing. Aliens are trying to kill people. And rather than playing as one unit, now we are going to get to play as squads of units. Um... I see, I see like squads of humans just standing in that, in that like death zone over there getting like pommeled by vehicles, so seems, uh, seems like a poor choice to just stand in open field and take a bullet, plasma bullets to the face, but if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. So I picked this first level because it will remind me how to play this game. So pretty much you select units, you tell them where to go, um, and they will sort of automatically go and, uh, you know, pick guys up and stuff like that. I think we can pick these guys. Um, no? Okay. So yeah, it's a real-time strategy game. There's more of an emphasis here on, like, micromanagement, as you can see. So, boom. Now I guess these... Oh, now we have now we have two vehicles. So let's see. How do we select more than one? Oh, this is interesting. So if you just click on one or two, you select one or two. But if you hold the select button, you make, like, a little circle around your, uh, around your cursor. So this game was actually specifically designed to work with the controller, which is kind of interesting, actually. You know, a lot of, I mean, almost every real-time strategy game out there was first developed to work with a mouse and keyboard. And so when they eventually would make, like, console ports, um, you know, like, the, the games would just not really work very well. Because, like, console games, they control very differently from, uh, from, from, uh, you know, Computers, you don't have a mouse or keyboard. Controllers are very different from a mouse or keyboard setup. And real-time strategy games that were developed to be used... Oh, I think we ran those guys over. Pretty sure you can run guys over in this. Um, or you can just kill them with guns. That works too. 
But real-time strategy games that are designed to work with keyboard and mouse, they just don't translate well to a controller. So this game was actually developed by the team that makes uh, Age of Empires, uh, which is a team that has a lot of experience. Um, oh, look, there's a smashing button. We're gonna, totally going to run these guys over. Yeah, here we go. Kaboom! Nice. Um, but that's a team that definitely has a lot of experience uh, making real-time strategy games. And what happened is the team spent uh, 12 months... 12 to 18 months, I think, developing. Um, let's run these guys over too. Uh, they spent 12 to <laughs> 18 months developing a, uh, a, a a game engine, a real-time strategy engine that would work on a controller, and they they actually sort of designed it from the ground up. So so this game's engine was specifically designed to be used with the controller. And actually, you know, they had no intentions of making a Halo game when they took their engine to Microsoft and showed their benevolent overlords the work that they had done. Microsoft was like, you know what, let's make this a Halo game. And uh, Bungie was sort of in the background. They were like, what? Uh, Bungie uh, is famously very unhappy that this game exists. They do not like the fact that their franchise was taken away from them and basically turned into something that uh, they were not interested in uh, at all. It's kind of interesting though because uh, for those of you who know the history of Halo Combat of all, the very first Halo game, it originally started actually as a real-time strategy game. It was, it, they didn't always envision it as a first-person shooter. It evolved into one um, eventually, but like initially it was, initially it was a, a first-person shooter, or sorry, initially it was a strategy game, uh, which is kind of interesting. So, like, in a weird way, Halo kind of came full circle eventually. It went from being a real-time strategy game to a first-person shooter back to being a real-time strategy game. So, um, yeah, you know, I understand why Bungie may not be super happy about, uh, about, uh, you know, um, oh, what's going on over here? About Halo being given to somebody else, so to, like, another team, and they didn't have any say in, like, what was going on. But, uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't fault this game. It's, it's not that bad of a game, as I say. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And we can go over here. Target the power source. Do it. Everyone go get that power source. All right, do it. Everyone get that power source. Uh, we're totally getting killed. So uh, the units in this game use a very simple sort of rock, paper, scissors, uh, rock, paper, scissors type mechanic. Basically, infantry get owned by vehicles, vehicles get owned by aircraft, and aircraft get owned by infantry. I don't understand how aircraft get owned by infantry, but sure, whatever. I mean, they gotta have some kind of, like, game mechanic to the unit, so it's not just, like, one unit is better than uh, every other. Um, oh, there's a tank. That, okay, wait, 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 the, the tank is gonna totally own my infantry. So we definitely want to keep the infantry away from the tank. Everybody, how about everyone come over here? Oh, okay. There's there's the aircraft owning the uh, there's the aircraft owning the vehicles. Let's try and run these guys over. The funnest thing in Halo is running guys down. So <laughs> run them all over. I like how they give you that option in the uh, in in the uh, the real time strategy game here. See, so, yeah, I mean, like it's not a bungee game, but like it doesn't feel like it's actually like that far off necessarily. Like, it doesn't necessarily feel like uh, a completely different game. And actually, Ensemble Studios, when this game came out, were given, like, a lot of credit for, like, you know, uh, doing a pretty good job of, like, being faithful to the Halo universe and, like, making things look and feel right and uh, and the controls, you know. For a real-time strategy game on a, com on a console, the controls are not too shabby, so there you go. Um, despite the fact that, uh, despite the fact of everything I just said, I'm pretty sure this game is not canon. Could be mistaken on that, but I'm pretty sure this game is not canon. Um, I think in this game you end up encountering the flood, and I'm pretty sure. So we passed the mission. Boom, bingle bangle, easy. Maybe we'll do one more of these early missions because they'll show us like how to use the base and stuff. And this is like uh, good for both of us. Good for you guys because you can see how things work. Good for me so I can figure out how things work. It's been a long time since I played this. Um, yeah, you end up encountering the Flood and stuff, and I think, like, in the actual canon, the Flood wasn't encountered until later or earlier. I don't even know. I, I, I could be wrong. But I didn't think this game was, was canon. Um, Spartans are in this game. Spartans are the super soldier unit, and they are beasts. So my guy's crawling around the snow on his belly. 
just uh, there are characters in this game, and uh, they have like a story and stuff. But uh, you know, unless you're like super interested, it's more just about the gameplay. But uh, there's the flood, or not the flood, the uh, covenant, the elites, the bad guys, basically. Um, they're finding forerunner technology. But anyway, the Spartans in this game are super soldier units that are actually really sweet. They have the coolest ability in the game, which is the ability to hijack enemy vehicles. So I said that vehicles own infantry, while well, the Spartans own the vehicles. And they can they can, uh, they can can uh, commandeer a ground or an air vehicle. So Spartans are, are beasts in this game. And they also dominate infantry. They're just the best unit in the game. They're the god unit. I think you only ever get like maybe two or three at a time. And as I recall, I don't think they can die. I think that you can like knock them out if they get like too injured or something, but you, they can't die. So anyway, the humans are in disarray, aliens are invading. Let's hop into the next level Serena, and uh, see what we need to do here. All right, so this is the first of the base building levels. In the previous level, we got to control some warthogs and soldiers. Now we're actually going to build a base and make use of the warthogs and soldiers. So I was a big real-time strategy. Um, I was a real big real-time strategy uh, player um, when I was a kid. I love StarCraft and Command and & Conquer and stuff. I think I, I wouldn't have minded this. I wouldn't have minded this. So you can move the camera and stuff, by the way. So here's our new base. So the bases in this game, it's not like a normal real-time strategy game where you can build wherever you want. The base sort of has like five building spaces and you can like build uh, just sort of like, you know, basic things so like supply pads. That's it. Um, the game, the game's controller is very much sort of like Mass Effect, where when you click on something, you know, you use the, uh, you use the left the stick to pick online. what you want, and A does everything. We'll so, you can upgrade to a fortress, uh, if you want. So now we need to build a bar uh, barracks. So, yeah, you just sort of select what you want. It gets flown in from space, I guess, or it gets brought up on an elevator. I don't really know the mechanics of how this base works, but, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it totally to makes... A larger military there we go. On so you can, ground. like, queue up a bunch of dudes. It makes total sense how uh, a real-time strategy game for a console would be designed totally differently than one for um, one for a computer. What are these things, by the way? Supply crates. Oh, wait. Can these guys get this stuff? Get it. Oh, they're harvesting. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Why aren't everyone... Get all this stuff. Get all the supplies. Um, yeah, it makes sense that you would design a real-time strategy game totally differently, but I guess, like... Like, I know there have been attempts to do it. Like, when they ported StarCraft to the N64, they definitely, like, revamped the interface and stuff. But at the core, it was StarCraft, which was designed for a PC. We can build turrets, too. Which was designed for a PC, so, like, at its core, it wasn't meant to ever be played on an N64. So even with some redesigns, it, it didn't really s work, if you know what I mean. Um, boom, alright, we got all these guys. Uh, we're going to send everyone over here. Review your objectives. Our objectives are to fight our way to the structure in the ice. Easy. And uh, is there anything else we can build? Oh, look at this. Reactor. Energy to access advanced buildings. Okay. So we seem to gather resources just randomly. And supply pad, I think, and gathers resources. Okay, whatever. We'll build uh, like build one of those. Uh, oh, look at all the enemies. Okay, are you guys doing okay over here? They seem to be doing okay. Run these guys over. Boom! <laughs> so, yeah, vehicles are good against infantry. Well, when you can wipe out a whole squad in, like, one fell move. Uh, it's pretty easy. Oh, this is kind of cool. I remember this. So see how there's all these like little dots around here? You can tell your guys to enter cover, and what happens is they take up all those like little dot positions. And yeah, and see now they're in cover. So that's kind of cool. Uh, uh oh, I have uh, guys coming around from the rear. Let's send those guys back. What's going on over here? Oh, my base is under attack. Oh, it's the hunters. Oh, geez, good thing I have turrets and stuff. I guess they're busy trying to destroy the base, but I don't. I feel like that's uh. It's wishful thinking. That's not going to happen. Uh, vehicle. Okay, so we need a reactor. No, wait. We need a supply pad. Totally want to be able to build vehicles. 
We'll leave those guys here as defense. What's going on over here? Oh, these guys, the war went well for them. Um, all right. So you can eject guys out of this. So this, that's kind of like a bunker in StarCraft. If you guys, uh, oh, <laughs> all right, whatever. I'll, I'll let those guys be in there. Um, all right, everyone, everyone gather over here. So the one thing that's difficult is getting everyone together. Another tip for selecting units is if you uh, double click a unit, you select all the units of that type. Uh, but I don't know how to like also select uh, another type of vehicle. Hmm. I was wondering if there was like a, you know, add to group kind of thing, but I don't see any option. Interesting. Maybe you can't do it. Oh, well, whatever. We'll just live without, without that option. Um, you can press the D-pad to go back and forth between your army and your base. So that's good. Ooh, look at this. Grenadier adds a marine armed with a grenade launcher or warthog. Okay, what does this need? That needs two powers. All right, let's do it. One more reactor. We're gonna, we're gonna build the beefiest warthogs ever and then we're gonna invade them with a bunch of warthogs. Okay, these guys are doing okay. This, this crew is starting to get a little thin, so we, we probably should upgrade them soon. But they're doing okay now. So the enemy is like a series of infantry and vehicles, which means we need vehicles, because vehicles outdo infantry, uh, and vehicles versus vehicles is... Oh. Hello. Our primary mission here is to reach that structure. Destroying that base is a secondary objective. Yeah, but it's fun, right? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and destroy it. It's going down pretty fast, though. Okay, I'll just leave those guys to do their thing. Oh, we'll use the D-pad, the shortcuts here. Okay, can we now? Yes. More resources required. More resources? Oh, 500, oh my God. Warthogs are expensive. How much do soldiers cost? Oh, we have different kinds of soldiers. A flashbang, new blood, a marine, or a flamethrower. All right, what's going on up here? We successfully destroyed this base yet? Oh, there's guys killing us from behind. <laughs> well, I took care of them. Just keep running them over. Boom, there goes the base. Okay, good job, guys. Man, this is all that's left of our original force. Okay, we definitely, we definitely need some reinforcements here. Huh, I didn't build my warthog. Actually, I think, I think I messed up. I think that was research. I don't know how to actually build things though. Wait, where's my vehicle factory? Reactor, reactor. I don't think I actually built a vehicle factory, so I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that. And... Required. Build more reactor. Oh, okay. I should not have destroyed that reactor. Okay, I'm gonna recycle this supply depot. And look at this, you can actually upgrade supply pads. So hopefully they'll give me more money. And now, now I can build a vehicle. Okay, gotcha. Man, just just getting a vehicle is a little confusing here. I guess it helps to build the correct stuff. So my heavy supply pad gets twice as many supplies. Here's my vehicle depot slowly coming in. All right, let's send these guys up here. You guys are gonna reinforce this crew over here and oh I guess I do have like soldiers kind of like hanging around here you guys come over here too yeah they're trying to kill our base but we have turrets so we're okay oh my god we can build a scorpion tank a cobra what the heck oh my god tank we're totally doing a tank I kind of want two tanks Okay, we're waiting for this to happen. We're gonna make this happen. Oh, there's supplies over here that I never gathered. Uh, I mean, I don't have anyone around here to gather them. That sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, actually, the scorpion can come and gather the supplies. I think. No, he cannot. All right, let's, let's just build some basic marines here. All right, we got two tanks. Got a couple of squads of marines. These guys are just gonna gather some resources real quick. I almost wanna save up for one more tank. Would you guys blame me? Oh my god, they're trying to drop troops on us. Oh, just wait till they get a load of these tanks. The tanks are like training on them already. They're not even gonna last. 
I feel like the, the ship that's doing the dropping off, oh my god, it barely got out of there with its life. Barely. By the way, I found an all units button, so we can select everyone. The right bumper selects everything on the screen, the left bumper selects everything. Alright, we have three scorpion tanks, a hero's warthog, and a bunch of soldiers. I think we definitely got this. Let's go uh, cause some havoc here. Okay, so you can research and upgrade your base to like a fortress, and then you get more building sites. I gotcha. Alright, let's do this. I feel like we got more than enough to just crush the enemy. Let's do this. The tanks are in the background. The tanks should be in the front, but uh, whatever. Oh! He didn't last at all! Man. This is awesome. In a, when you're playing it, when you're playing in Halo, it's like oftentimes you might have like three or four or five or six marines like, you know, gathered with you to help you like destroy the Covenant. It's very rare that you have like 40 dudes just like hanging out with you trying to like destroy the enemy. So like this is, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool to have this many guys on our team. Alright, destroy the power source. Destroy the power source so the tanks can get through. The tanks are like all just stuck waiting here. Um, all right, now destroy that thing. Oh man, we don't even need the tanks. These guys are like doing pretty good by themselves. Everyone get up here. And we can also switch to our scorpion tanks and tell them to sort of go to the front. All right, we're, we're just demolishing them. We don't need to run over our enemies anymore because they just, no one lasts long enough. All right, all units come over here and just fight your way to the front. Boom, jackals killed. Oh, there's like little achievements. Guess we're supposed to kill a bunch of jackals in this level. Get all these grunts. If the Man, you know what would be cool is a Halo game where you could simultaneously play it as a real-time strategy game and a first-person shooter. So, like, you could start playing it as a real-time strategy game, then once the war gets started and you have enough soldiers, you could, like, switch to, like, the Master Chief in the middle of the action, and you could, like, start playing it first-person shooter. That would be awesome. Okay, get up there and run them over. Okay, they died too fast. <laughs> Destroy the detonator. Destroy these guys. Just shoot at everything. Kill everything, people. Fire at will! All right, I like also how you can hear, like, the halo sound effects. Like, the clear shot of the rail gun and, and the, the machine guns and stuff like that. Kind of cool. All right. Detonator is destroyed. Prepare for new orders. New orders? Alpha base, this is Bravo 20. Let's go kill these guys while we're waiting for those orders. <laughs> Alright, and that's how you do it. That's a basic level. So pretty easy. You build up a base. There are certain buildings on the base that give you income. Use that income to buy units. I mean, it's a real-time strategy game. It's literally a real-time strategy game. So we've seen the first couple levels. Let's hop to a level where I'm pretty sure we get to see a Spartan. And then we will hop forward even further after that, assuming that we beat the next Seems level. So, so look at this. We just dominated this base. Um, this may not be an official... Well, it is an official Halo game, but it may not be a Bungie Halo game. But it does have like awesome cinematics and definitely sort of has the Halo feel to it. Um, although it's a little different. I mean, part of the Halo feel is feeling like you're an invincible super soldier. And this one doesn't have that because it's a real-time strategy. But anyway. All right, so stuff happens. Let's jump ahead and see them in a couple of levels. All right. Welcome to the city of Arcadia. The Covenant invasion is in full swing. And we need to evacuate its civilian population. And uh, that's what we're going to do, people. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure... That we have a uh, Spartan or two who's going to help us out. Um, I love, I love the uh, the like different environments in this game. Actually, they look really cool. Like the ice levels were okay, but like this city looks totally awesome. Oh, look at the civilians running around. Oh man, yeah. Like okay, as I when I started playing this, I said I was surprised it was in the book because as I recall, um, it didn't really do all that well. But I don't think it did, like, badly. And I think it, it had, like, solid ratings. Like, its ratings were, I think, like, in the 8 out of 10 kind of range. Like, it was, it was you know, fairly, fairly reasonable, uh, all of its ratings. 
So I don't think it did badly. I think it just didn't sell as much as the other Halo games, which is completely understandable because it's like, you know, people like Halo for the first person shooter. Yeah, people might generally also like the lore and stuff, but if it's a different game, it'd be harder for people to like sort of get into it, um, I think. But, uh, but you know, it's, it's done well. It's done well. It's, uh... You know, one of the only real-time strategy games I've ever, like, played on a on a console and thought, this isn't that bad. A sniper tower. Interesting. Okay, so... Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, oh I'm, uh... I guess I'm... I have to clear away, like, uh, sites 1, 2, and 3. Optional. Rescue 500 civilians. Uh-oh. Well, when they're... When they're just r foolishly running into combat, might be a little hard to rescue them. But I will try. We'll do everything in my power. That guy's hiding under a bridge. Guys, civilians, stop just like randomly roaming around. There, see all the guns shooting at you? Why don't you wait till like kill those guns? Then we can all then we can all escape together. It'll be great. Um, oh, they're actually damaging my aircraft a fair amount. I think I have this game set on like normal or easy. I forget. Uh, so again, I, I have this game. I played it years and years and years ago. Haven't touched this game, and it's got to be like at least eight years. Maybe more. So at one point in my life, I beat this game. I don't remember beating it, necessarily. I remember bits and pieces of this game. Oh, look, we can do a special move on this. Move near a hero. Let's see. Oh, the aircraft have special attacks. Oh, and look at this. Oh yeah, Douglas the Spartan. Boom. Is Can I control him yet? No? Okay, everyone move near Douglas. He will heal us. The power of Doug. Um, oh, look at this. What is this? What is this the jerk doing? Oh, the turret got him. Oh, here's another Spartan. Okay. I, I totally want these Spartans on my side. Come on, Doug. Spartan is back up. Oh, Spartan. Oh, we have three Spartans. Alice. Alice, where are you going? Alice. Okay, I'm pretty sure these Spartans will eventually uh, bend to our will. But uh, right now, you know, Spartans are very independent thinkers. You know, they're soldiers that, like, half the time obey orders. And half the time they're just sort of like, you know what? I'm going to go my own way on this one. Oh, man. The Spartans have, like, lasers. So the Spartans have all the crazy weapons. Rocket launcher. This one has a laser. I think one ran over here. He had, like, a minigun. So the Spartans are definitely the badass units of this game. Um, I think there's, like, a Spartan over here just soloing someone. Okay. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, don't, don't take off yet. There's still civilians. There's still civilians. Oh, my God. They're going to get shot down. Oh my god. Was I supposed to clear that area? Was it my was that my duty? I might have failed. Um okay, so that sucks. The Covenant are getting control of the city fast. Suggest setting up new ground operations. Okay, so we're actually gonna start a base now. Okay, let's start a base. I don't know, let's start a base over here. I feel like this is this is a, a safer zone. Okay, where are we here? Oh, well, we gotta kill this guy first. Boom, 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 boom! A bunch of planes just showed up from the air. Those are jackals in there, snipers. We just freaking machine gun them down. All right, build me the base. We're dead unless you get out here. Rolling out. Okay, cargo two is in trouble. Uh oh. Hey, look! And he totally he hijacked a, a banshee. Aw, oh, man, we missed it. Okay, maybe we have to play the level right after this, because then we're going to have control of the Spartan team. But, uh... Oh, my God, this guy. <laughs> okay, it turns out we need to split our forces up. So I'm going to take this guy, and he will come over here, and... Oh, my God, he's going to solo all of this, though. Don't worry. Oh, my God, look at them all. We definitely did not clear this area. You know what we need is turrets. I like I can't even select the pad to like make a turret here. Boom, there you go. 
Okay, my base is in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. I don't even know what I built. What is Supply this? Pad. Supply pad. How do you heal, by the way? Does the base just auto-repair? I hope it auto-repairs. All right. So... <laughs> Okay, now now we're probably okay. What is this? Okay, I built a barracks, the supply pad, and a barracks? What, did I build two barracks? Okay, cancel that barracks. <laughs> I was panicking, guys, I was panicking. Uh, build a reactor. Let's uh, pump some soldiers out. There's resources all over the map. I gotta start, like, taking advantage of this. Okay, so when they when they tell you to clear a way to um, clear a way to a base, you definitely should clear a way to a base. Okay, let's select a couple of these guys and bring them over here. Actually, or actually, let's go kill these guys. Oh my god, there's just like civilians randomly taking shots from jackals here. Nobody's protecting them. I guess I'm the person who's supposed to be protecting them. You see how well that works. Oh look, and a, a Spartan took a tank too. Man, these Spartans are badass. I wish I wish that uh, I could control them. Um, in later levels, you totally can. So I guess this is like the first level you see Spartans, but you don't you're not let you're not allowed to use them yet. They don't trust you enough to give give them orders. Uh, this war seems to be fighting itself. My units are dispersed well. Oh, they're trying to attack my base though. Hey, look, that's a guy with a sword, and he's dead. All right, so actually, I just realized these guys are totally getting owned. I need to start sending soldiers down that way. Uh, you know what my whole plan? I'm just going to build a bunch of marines. I feel like marines are super cheap, and like when you get when you get swarms and swarms of them, they're actually like fairly effective. In these early levels, we don't need anything. Anything but marines. Um, although we do want a high-tech laboratory. I like the sound of that. Why not? One high-tech library, or factory, or whatever the heck it was. Um, how about, how about you guys defend yourself? Oh, what's this guy doing over here? My units are getting scattered, scattered all over the place. They've got to have a base or something around here. This is my, my thought, my theory. Oh god, they're actually really damaging this building. Or this uh, cargo ship, uh-oh. 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 This one is doing okay. Look at this guy. He has like six stars. I wonder how I wonder how the the uh, Spartans get stars. Oh, look at all these soldiers. All right, can we just kill all these guys? Okay, keep keep pumping out soldiers by the truckload. Maximum population. Maximum population. All right. Uh, adrenaline enables all infantry units to run significantly higher speeds. Do it, do it! Oh, look at this guy. He's gonna try and like melee sword, and he can't even attack. Oh, there he goes. He is attacking. Highly ineffective, buddy. Highly ineffective. We're gonna go ahead and build another turret here. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we do have enough money. There we go. Okay. Continue to scatter soldiers all over the map. That's my plan. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, there's like a whole tower of them over here. Yikes. Okay, we're supposed to save 500 civilians, I think. We we do have like 10 minutes left. We've got 395. That's not bad. Oh, I feel bad for these guys. Civilians should not have to fight elites. It's not a fair fight. Okay, we're going to move these guys over here. Oh, I think they can get into this tower, maybe? Maybe I should have guys in these towers. Probably a good idea, right? Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, you guys get in this tower, too. I don't think there's any benefit to using the ambulance for anything. I don't think they can get in the ambulance. Oh, my God. All right, there we go. Kill him! I feel like... Okay, I know that a lot of civilians have died on my watch. But like I like in all honesty, isn't it a little bit of um, you know the Spartans' fault? I mean, the Spartans are the ones who are supposed to be the super soldiers. They're just kind of like hanging around, not doing all that much. If you ask me. Oh, look at this, man! Who said that vehicles beat? Oh, he's trying to retreat. Who said vehicles beat soldiers? 
As it turns out that, uh, I don't know, okay. I think they, I guess they only have like one round of grenades. And that's it. And this guy's dominating me. Okay, you know what? We need to, we need to upgrade to a fortress so that we can build a, uh, we need to build a tank, man. We're switching from all soldiers to all tanks. That's how we're gonna win this war. Just kill him! Grenade! Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright. Can we come over here? Man, they're still killing civilians. Oh, no, wait, that's me killing them. Sweet. Kill them! Use grenades! I think the grenades are good on everyone. Nah, they're better against, uh, better against vehicles, I guess. Man, this, this is a tough level. I like, I like the, like, one brave guy who comes to fight a turret with a sword. I respect that. I think it's stupid, but I respect it. Respect the hell out of it. I think a supply, another supply pad might give me more money. I'm not entirely sure on how I get money. I think it's the supply pads. That or the supply pads allow me to build more soldiers. Either way. Um, oh, we're definitely past the 500, uh, the 500, uh, dudes mark, by the way. Oh, and Cargo 2 isn't even that useful to us. Car as long as Cargo 1 survives, we'll pretty much get our 500. Um, okay, can we build a vehicle depot yet? Yes, we can. I wonder if there are, like, enemy bases over here, and, like, if we were more organized, we could, like, go and demolish them, but... Because they're all coming from over here somewhere. Or if the enemy just gets, if this is like a level where the enemy just continually gets dropped off and there's nothing you can do. Okay, I think I'm getting, I think I'm making more money nowadays than I ever have before. So once this vehicle depot is done, we're going to start pumping out the tanks and then these guys are going to be sorry. Yeah, look, this base is single-handedly winning the war. It's like holding back all of these soldiers. They can't, they can't even dent this one turret. Jeez. Reminds me of Dune 2, where, like, turrets were, like, super overpowered. So what are these other things? Anti-vehicle, anti-air pods, deflection plating. Interesting. What do you need for this? Oh, more reactors. Gotcha. We're gonna build two, uh, two tanks. Man, L look how expensive it is to upgrade a reactor. It's 1,200. It's only 500 to build these things. It's crazy. Okay, these civilian. There's a bunch of civilians just kind of like standing here. Oh, what is this? Okay. This uh, that's that's not good. Just for for all of our dudes to just be like being gunned down there. That's not cool. Where's our where's our air defense units here? So I guess as the units get kills, they earn stars, and that's like experience, something like that. It's kind of cool. So you can look at the Spartans over here. Uh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where are the Spartans? There's one. He has two. Like, he's hiding in the corner. I wish these Spartans were under our control, man. We could use them so much more effectively. Let's see if we can take this thing down, too. Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! No reinforcements for you! And we'll kill these guys, though. For daring to chase the civvies. So air units are supposed to get taken down by infantry, but they actually feel, uh... Oh, there we go. All right. Time... Time to end... Time to end the enemy's fun. We're just gonna come over here. And demolish them. Man, they're not very good at killing civilians. It takes them forever. Like the bad guys here. Oh, look. Okay, here, here's a, uh... Here's a Spartan. Look how many stars they've got. They are a true warrior of the battlefield. There we go. Right, these tanks will just hang out right here. We'll protect the ever-flowing line of civvies. What's going on over here? Oh, that's not cool. Bring our air units in for support. Man, that tank did not last long. Hey, look, we can call in, like... Heal repair carpet bomb. We can we can carpet bomb an area. Holy crap! All right, let's find an area where the enemies are pissing us off. We're going to do it right here. And we'll do it like this. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was so 
<laughs> oh, they're gonna kill a turret! Okay. Uh, stop messing around. Get over here. Man, they killed a turret. That's not cool. We're just gonna build another one. And can we build vehicles still? Where's our vehicle factory? Boom, boom, boom. All right, we're gonna have three more, three more tanks. We have a downed hero. So Spartans in this game, again, they can't die. They just kind of go down. Oh, what the heck is this? Uh-oh. Okay. You guys come over here. Just run over here. What? We need to restart this operation. They destroyed! Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. It was Oh, they distracted me. Oh, we had like 500 civvies on one ship. All right, that's okay. Uh, we passed the level. Whatever. We're going to go ahead and jump to the next level so that hopefully we can uh, get get control of some Spartans ourselves. I blame the Spartans on that one. I'm just saying you know, if they if they were willing to follow orders, I think things would have worked out a lot better. So we're going to go ahead and try this very next level, because I'm pretty sure the same Spartans that were defending the city are now under our control, and we can play around with them a little and actually make them uh, do stuff. It's, well, they were doing stuff, to be fair, but they were kind of like not positioning themselves super well. Uh, man, I was... I thought everything was under control. I was like, oh, yeah, there's only a minute left. We got this. And then I wasn't even paying attention. The ships got blown up. So uh, that that totally sucks. All right. Let's do this 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 one right here. All right, here here's a Spartan. Douglas the rocket launcher Spartan. And let's have some fun with Douglas here. Oh, and we also have... Who do we have here? Um... We have Alice, the machine gunner. We also have Jerome. All right, we got, oh my God, look at them all. Let's destroy these guys. We have the power of Spartans, man. Let's see these heavy weapons in action. Boom, rockets and lasers and machine guns and get in there and melee them if you need to. Um, oh my God, they've destroyed everything. Move near hero at half health to recover. Oh my god, they're destroying us. Should we have fled? Is that what was supposed to happen? I thought we could fight this off. Oh, look! They, they, downed, uh, they downed a Spartan. Oh my god, it's like there's only two Spartans left. This is uh, not going good. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to flee. Okay, Alice. Run, Alice. Okay, hold on. We're gonna, totally going to restart this mission. All right, new plan this time. It's called Runaway. And we can't skip this little opening cinematic here. I think it only lasts like a couple of seconds. All right, here we go. All right, everybody. Everyone, run. A few clicks south. Along the few clicks south. We're going to run all the way down here. Don't nobody stop for nothing. Do not engage the enemy behind us. Keep moving. Yeah, see, he even says it. He's like, don't engage the enemy behind us. Keep moving. Kind of wasn't paying attention. I thought it'd be fun to slaughter them. I thought it was like four Spartans or three Spartans. We have three or four, three Spartans. We would do okay, but I guess not. Guess we're not advanced enough. All right, just keep running forward, everybody. Keep running forward. I want to run people over, but like, I don't want to like mess with the pathfinding AI. There you go. Run them over. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop! Oh my god. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can totally hijack. Oh, look at this! He's hijacking the plane! <laughs> yeah. And... Do we have it? Do we have it? He's just, just like sitting there taking damage. Alright. So yeah, you can totally hijack. Uh, hijack. Oh, we should have hijacked like the enemy tanks and stuff like that. Alright, the area is now secure. We can now build our base. So, um, yeah. Uh, pretty much, you know, more of the same at this point. We're going to just build a base, defend against the enemy. Um, I, I kind of just want to mess around with the uh, Spartans just for a little bit. And then I kind of want to, like, jump forward, like, three or four missions just to sort of see um, what that's going to be like. 
So here, let's take these. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these Spartans on a little adventure. And then from there, um, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and, and jump. Jump ahead. So, all right. This is, this is my own. This is Jay's personal game of Halo. Three Spartans on a mission. We're going to see what kind of vehicles we can capture. We're on a capture and a capture and recon mission. Let's see how well these Spartans do as a team. See how much they can like mow down. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, not seeing a lot of enemy vehicles. Hey, look, all the enemies are like gone. Like these guys can't find anyone. Oh, they found these guys. Um, uh oh, this this looks like a bad call. Okay, everyone flee. <laughs> I, I think I think the Spartans are more invincible than they actually are. I'm like, yeah, if I was if I was Master Chief, I could probably take that on. But no, I think that I think that's too many enemies. Okay, new plan. Let's build up a force here, and then we'll go out and crush them. How about that? Hey, look, a guy followed us back. Hey, look, you can request an ODST upgrade. So I guess you can have an ODST drop. You can also repair. Oh, you can. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there's like special abilities you can use. So you can like repair units and stuff. That's an anti-vehicle Cobra. Interesting. All right, we we've upgraded to tanks once again. I, I'm very like uh, I have like a like a very narrow range of like what I want to do. I just want to go tanks, tanks, and nothing but tanks. I feel like the whole tech tree is like almost too complicated here. Oh, you know what? Let's build an armory. Why not? So I take it back. We're gonna build a supply pad. We need mo money. Mo money does not equal mo problems. Mo money equals Enemy less problems. Oh look, the enemies are all coming in to fight us. Rolling. Hey, look, we could build a second base now. That's kind of cool. And we have ODST infantry. Interesting. Oh man, that went down instantly. Instantly. <laughs> Okay, we don't want to hijack those. They look like they're made out of paper mache. Um, all right. Is there anything else that I haven't built? I guess I haven't built like an air pad or whatever. I'm gonna build a reactor instead. Oh, it's 750. I feel like the price of these things keep going up. Man, they just keep dropping more and more units off to me. Okay, hold on. ODST guys, get back here! Get back here! Man. I, I kind of want to like steal a ghost or something, but like everything keeps dying. I don't think these Spartans are going to get to hijack much. I'd love to have them hijack like a tank or something. Self-destruct. Instantly destroy the entire brace to free it up for an ally. I don't have any allies, so don't do... Please don't do that. Please don't self-destruct right now. Okay, so one thing I haven't been able to figure out. Medium turret. Mac blast. Reserves. No, that's not what I want. Where's my factory? Built one, didn't I? Oh, so I need three reactor points to do anything cool. Okay, we're actually gonna hold off here and like try and get some higher tech. Oh, this guy's injured. All right, there we go. We're upgrading a reactor. Twelve hundred. Seems expensive. Oh my God, the Alice or whoever, Jerome just blew something up. He's a sniper. He's sniping with like a Spartan laser. It's like a hardcore sniper, man. He he's not even he's not even just like taking on us, uh, uh, you know, infantry. He's like he can literally snipe vehicles and buildings. All right, our reactor is upgraded. So where where was our vehicle thing over here? Uh, it was over here. There we go. Equip scorpions with a secondary canister shell. This attack is devastating to any infantry. We're already devastating to infantry, though. Hardened plating, volley ability, so we can have an anti-air. We already have a Cobra. How much are Cobras? Oh, they're only 350. Okay, let's build one more Scorpion, and then, I don't know. Maybe we'll build a, co a Cobra. There's not too many units in this game, to be totally honest. Oh, the enemy keeps coming. It's it's like they want to pick a fight here. I feel like this is actually a pretty big force, but, like, I'm afraid to venture out or I'm just going to get, like, totally owned. Okay, here, we're going to wait for our scorpion tank. And we'll build one cobra. And we're just going to go for it, I think. 
So I think you could go over here, secure this base, and then get a secondary base going. Then you could build like a massive force. But I kind of want to just go on like a suicide run. I feel like our guys are fairly well equipped. I mean, I don't know if we're going to win or not, but I kind of want, want to just like have a giant battle. See what happens here. But yeah, if we were going to like continue to play this level, I'm pretty sure you'd want to go and capture like a secondary base. Because that's kind of enticing. Then you could get double the income. Um, then you'd have to like, you know, wait it out for a bit. All money in this game seems to just take time. Seems to just take time. All right, we have all the units. Um, oh, there's a uh, there's a Spartan there, who's under fire. Now ah, the tank decided to help him. All right, we're good. So we need to find some tanks that we can hijack. I think that's what I would like to do. I've never seen this many hunters, by the way, in the Halo universe in one spot. Like in the Halo games, you only ever see like two at a time. I think in the rare occasion, you've seen like squads of four. But like we're seeing squads of four regularly. This is crazy. Just kill, kill those guys. Oh, he like sniped him in the belly with like the Spartan laser. Are they dead yet? They're dead. Okay, meanwhile, we should definitely build some turrets here. Turret, turret. I think we can even research light turrets or something. Seem to recall. Where was my tech center? Man, I'm so confused. All the buildings look alike. Here we go. Research the medium turret. Why not? Okay, let's see what's going on up here. Oh, this is the enemy base. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, Spartans. Take that and that. Oh, that one didn't last. Okay, try and take this one that's still alive. Take this one. Take it. Take it. Where are the Spartans? Where are the Spartans? Okay. <laughs> there was not enough time to hijack the, uh, the, um, uh, tanks. Don't worry. We'll, we'll, we'll hijack the tanks. Oh my god. Look at, look at all these. Jeez. Uh oh. I think our, I think our base is under attack. Yeah, they, they were smart enough to attack our base while we were gone. Yeah. Alright, well, um, clearly, clearly, um, these levels require a little bit more patience. Uh oh, only the Spartans have survived. Uh, maybe they can come back here and, like, cause some damage. I wonder if they could, like, if they could high, like, one, uh, hijack one tank, I'd be satisfied. Man, even, even the Pelicans, like, fleeing... <laughs> There's our commander. He's just like lying dead on the battlefield, regenerating. <laughs> Whatever. We don't need him. That's hilarious. He, we left him for dead. You know how they say like no man left behind? We left a man behind. We totally left a man behind. Okay, hold on. Don't damage the tank because I actually want that. There, look. He's jumping on. He's punching it. Yeah, punch your way into that tank, buddy. Who is it? It's not Alice, it's not Douglas, it's Jerome! Jerome totally stole the tank, and now we have a tank. As easy as that. Well, uh, despite the fact that we had three Spartans on our team, we still got our butt kicked. Oh, we could totally steal this tank, too. I say, let's do that. Why not? And the enemy is, like, really, really aggressive here. So, I... I I guess I was thinking that these levels would be, like, easier and the enemy wouldn't be as aggressive, but it, it totally is. So, like, yeah, there's a lot of tactics going on here. Um, boom, we got another tank. Ah, 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 fools. Keep bringing your tanks, I'll keep stealing them. I don't mind. Spartans are so cool in this game. All right, well, uh, we've left our... We've, we've uh, had a couple of bad attacks. We've literally left our commander for dead. If you move near him, you'll revive him. So you can bring him back. So heroes don't die in this game. Wow, their base is huge. Their base is huge. I say let's hop forward to one more level. How about a grassy level so we can uh, end on uh, one more different planet or terrain. See a little bit more of uh, what this game has to offer. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and abandon this mission. I feel like from here... It's, you know, the, the, the human forces kind of have it from here. There's no point in me micromanaging the rest of this battle. I'm just going to leave them to their clear victory, and I'm going to move on. So I'm just going to show up back at the base. The general's going to be like, um, isn't the fight still going? I'll be like, yeah, they got it. 
Okay, I think we said we we're going to do the Scarab, just so we could see what the Scarab looks like in this game. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. And uh, while we play this level, I think I'll wrap my thoughts up on this game. So we're just going to take a peek at this level, really, guys. Um, but more, more backstory with the elites and the hierarchs and all that fun stuff. So if you are a Halo fanatic, if you are a Halo fanatic, there's a lot of stuff here for you to uh, check out. So you may want to, you know, get this game and actually pay attention to the story and uh, stuff like that. All right. This level starts us off with a couple of tanks, which I like. Actually, they look a little different from the tanks I'm used to. Oh! <laughs> from the tanks from uh, Halo 1, they look a little different. But, uh, yep. There's the Scarab. Its field of fire prevents any chance of retreat or extraction. You'll have to destroy it. Okay, so we gotta destroy the scarab. Um, this is, I think this is an interesting level because you just sort of have to, yeah, look. It has like a line of sight. You just have to stay out of the line of sight. It uh, kind of reminds me of like American Gladiators here. We're just gonna go ahead and, and see what happens. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a shot with these units. We're, we're not gonna make it through this level. But yeah, you just, you basically have to sort of hide behind cover here. And... Oh god, look at it. Oh, and it's it's slowly trying to fight its way through that uh, wall, too. I don't know what this thing is. We'll kill it, though. But you basically just have to sort of, like, hide your guys behind cover. Oh my god. And then he'll shoot, and he'll damage the cover, yeah. Very interesting, very interesting level here. Boom. Okay, he's gonna start killing us very soon here. Yeah, we're totally, we're, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done! <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, if we were to carry through on this level, yeah, very interesting mechanic. You sort of have to do the American Gladiators thing and like hide behind these walls. Only you're not getting shot with tennis balls, you're being shot with a deadly, deadly laser, so. A uh, very neat idea for a level. So Halo Wars here is one of the games, the book of Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. And I would say that, um, again, I was surprised, I was surprised to find out, I was surprised to find out that this game was in the book. Um, oh look, we, we actually made it to the Scarab, we can take a few shots at it. Interesting, I don't think we, we do nearly enough damage. Yeah, I think you have to destroy like shields and stuff way down here. I think like these things, power nodes, in order to like depower the scarab and stuff like that. So, um, so we're definitely going to lose this level. But as I say, I was surprised to find that this game was in the book, only because like I was under the impression that like it it was like not considered a bad game, but it just didn't do as well as Microsoft had wanted it to do. Although when researching for this game, I found out there was a sequel. I had no idea there was a sequel to this game, but Halo Wars 2 for the Xbox One is a thing. Apparently, it's a decent game. I think it has lower ratings than this one, though. Um, as far as games go, I would say this is one of the more unique real-time strategy games uh, I've ever played. Now, I know Bungie is not a huge fan of this game because they feel like, you know, Halo was their baby and it kind of got taken away from them and they really didn't like that. Um, I understand that and I don't fault them for that opinion. Um, at the same time, though, it is really interesting to have a real-time strategy game that has, was legitimately designed for consoles, you know, for console controls. I will say that I think real-time strategy games are always best played on a PC, and playing this game doesn't really change my opinion of that. But, as far as control schemes go, this is a very unique control scheme for a real-time strategy game, and it, it works better than you'd think for, um, for a strategy game on a console. So... Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I wouldn't say they've completely cracked it, but uh, it's definitely sort of an interesting uh, attempt to uh, to make a proper strategy game on a console. So, you know, all of this is to say that, like, um, I think who this game is going to appeal to are hardcore Halo fans. I mean, I played this back in the day not because I was, like, super interested in seeing them do a real-time strategy game on consoles, but because I was a Halo fan. This game is going to appeal to your Halo fan. Um, if you're not a fan of Halo, this might appeal to you. It's not, again, not a bad game, but it's very different from, like, StarCraft and Command and & Conquer and stuff like that. 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's hard to judge it. Like, I can only look at this game as a Halo fan. It'd be really hard to judge, not being a Halo fan, what you would think of this. I don't know. Like, what do you guys think of this game? Especially for people down there who don't play Halo. Like, does it look interesting or intriguing to you? Or does it kind of look like a game that you're just, like, not really that interested in? I don't know. Um... So I don't think that this is necessarily a game that you must play, and especially because real-time strategy games are usually better on PC anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Again, it's an odd one to see in the book, I think. But it's it's interesting, and I don't completely disagree with them putting it in there, and I'm partially biased because I'm a Halo fan. But nonetheless, it's, it's it, it, at the very least interesting. Anyway, I'm like pumping out tanks here. I wonder if we can at least make a little bit of progress before we end this thing by, like, destroying this. Like, could we destroy this before the Scarab kills us? And what, what would destroying this even do? I don't even know. Okay, oh my god, the Scarab's gonna see us! The Scarab is gonna see us! You've destroyed a power node. The Scarab's head is turning a little more slowly. Okay, so whenever you destroy a power node, then the scarab turns a little more slowly. So basically the idea is you go through this level destroying node after node after node, and when there's like almost no nodes left, the scarab is so slow, then you can get up to the front and actually destroy it. So there you go, that's how you beat this level. A very interesting level. The levels have all been like quite interesting, so at least it has that going for it. Anyway, guys, um, as I say, what did you think of this game? Do you think it is a game that uh, you must play before you die, or do you have other thoughts or opinions? Um, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested to hear. And uh, if you have played this game more recently than me and you remember more of it, what did you think of it? What were your impressions of this game? Um, and especially if you weren't a Halo fan, I'm really curious what you might think of this game. Um, as always, whatever you think of the game, hopefully I've made today entertaining. If I have, uh, don't forget to uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. And I will see you soon with another game from the book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. So until then, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And we will see you soon. And, uh, peace.